So Forever 21 has removed Ooh. a controversial t-shirt from their website after customers complained that it was making light of the issue of consent. Now here you're seeing a picture of the t-shirt that retails for $19.90 that reads, don't say maybe if you want to say no. Now people obviously took to Twitter uh, off based off that message and said, hey Forever 21, we think you should hashtag stop victim blaming and pull this shirt from your stores. Somebody else said Forever 21 is selling a shirt that says, don't say maybe if you want to say no. How about don't do something if you don't hear a yes? Now obviously following some of this backlash to their shirt, they uh, have removed the shirt from their site and they released a statement. Uh, Forever 21 strives to exemplify the highest ethical standards and takes feedback and product concerns very seriously. With regards to the t-shirt in question, upon receiving feedback from our customers, we took immediate action to have it removed from our website. We sincerely apologize uh, to anyone who was offended by the product. Now, if you go to the website now, you can see it as sold out. So it just makes it look a little bit more popular. They didn't totally remove it. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, I think this message is... I, so we covered this story on Think Tank this morning with Jason, so another TYT Sporters. Sports and, on the map. Exactly. I'm so sporty. <laughs> but um, So we covered this story, and we couldn't think of any other meaning that could be behind this shirt. I, I kind of uh, have I one. Oh, well. okay. Um, Let's hear it. You want to go first? Uh, go ahead. All right, thanks. Um, I, I'm trying to think about it rationally, right? So I, I imagine this shirt is aimed at young males. So I, I understand, for one, completely against it. It's it's so insensitive, and it should be it should have been discussed in a boardroom. I would like to know how this went mm. through the process of getting to be mm -hmm. published in the first place. But for instance, like maybe young males uh, maybe are caught up in decision-making processes in their life that they don't want to go help, and it's kind of like speaking to them. Don't say maybe to do drugs if you just really want to say no. Don't say maybe to do this if you want to say no. Now, nonetheless, that being still a, the, the farthest fetched example of this, when it has the slightest ambiguity to it that it can be related to any sort of rape issue or, or sexual abuse in a culture today that uses examples such as she was asking for it mm. and she said yes first and no, you have to be smarter. You have to be smarter as a company like Forever 21 and putting that forward because even if you do think and you're idea is that it has a different meaning. You've got to think about it contextually. How is someone who's been involved in a situation involving rape going to take that t-shirt? How are right. they going to re respond to that? And especially for Forever 21, who's targeted primarily at young millennial girls. That's in young girls yeah. who shop there. It's only going to put, portray a negative image for me. And I try to look at it rationally and think that that could be the example, but I still think the negatives overweigh that. Yeah, uh, let me defend that statement before I go on to condemn the shirt even more than you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, I, I could envision me saying this to my daughter. Okay. Mm. Now, so I would want to be very clear with her. You got all the right in the world to to lay down the law and say what you want and what you don't want. In fact, I want you doing that. Right. I want there to be complete clarity because I don't want any wiggle room for. Uh, Guy to say he misinterpreted you or to do something that you don't want, right? So be very clear. So I can say this to my daughter, right? But you can't put it on a shirt. Okay, here's a number. Shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So here's the thing. And as we talked about this morning in the production meeting, if this was a shirt for women mm -hmm. that said, and you put it on your own shirt, don't say maybe if you want to say no. This could be a pretty uh, empowering message. But because it's on a guy's shirt, mm -hmm. it's basically like, well, if you say maybe, I can't confirm what's going to happen or not. Like you're kind of asking for it. If you just give me a maybe and you don't make it completely positive, uh, 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 no. And it immediately, as soon as I saw this graphic tee, it reminded me of the Yale case when they said no means yes and yes means anal or whatever. I thought it was in the same vein as that, really promoting that rape culture like that you brought up. Yeah, and it's... It is an ambiguous case because I don't think that Forever 21 thought that that was the message that they were going to no, convey. No, that's, that's, where the I, thing. It's like no, that's where I disagree. That's why I want to condemn them more than you guys are. Okay, so first of all, the first thing I look to see, is it on a guy or is it on a woman, right? right. It's on a guy. It's a guy's t-shirt. Yeah. It's not aimed at women. It's aimed at guys going, oh, don't say maybe, you know, I'm going to take it as a yes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, Forever 21, did this before they make these decisions, it goes through many layers yeah. of management. Mm -hmm. And there's, you're telling me no one in management thought, hey, red flag, let's think this through. No, 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 no. They're not that stupid, okay, to use, again, the immortal words of Marco Rubio. <laughs> okay, I want to dispel the notion that they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. The whole point is, and this happens in the clothing industry all the time, 
let me do something controversial, mm. and then go, oh golly gee, you didn't like that? And you're all talking about my product. Oh, okay, I'll take it off. But oh, look at all this free press I got, and then I'll put sold out yeah. on it and that's, make it seem even more popular. That's exactly my point, is they didn't remove it. If they really thought that they messed up and it was some sort of accident, they would have taken taken it off their site and been like, oh shit, like I didn't even realize that it could be interpreted that way. But they left it on their site and they said sold out, and they don't say like, yes, this is not acceptable, we don't condone uh, uh, rape culture, we want to promote consent through our company. They're like, sorry if anybody was offended, yeah. like and sorry that, if I hurt your feelings. And it's because in the fashion industry there's many a times where people think that as you mentioned, posing controversy is going to drive their sales. We've mm. seen Urban Outfitters, remember the Kent, the, the Kent State shirt that was uh, like blood stained? Yeah, and, it was like, and they oh, had the and they had, they had, yeah. yeah, they had that promoted, I think. Dolce and Gabbana had slave shoes mm -hmm. promoted. They keep like, doing it, like, yeah. So it, it, it happens more often than not. I mean, I would like to think that that's not what their intention is, but as you mentioned, it they're they may be looking for controversy, and it's all about how it's interpreted. And as I mentioned, even if they have all these different examples, or it could be to empower guys to make up their mind on other decisions or anything else. If there's the slightest implication that this would, uh, someone would see this who's been involved in such a tragic situation, it would pose that negative reaction. And even young men who are supposed to wear this shirt might think that that's going to relate to them when they're talking to girls. That's just not acceptable. That's right. where they need to have a, a more It's exactly of a like the, the, the Bud Light advertisement that said take no out of your vocabulary, right? So it's supposed to be maybe they're, you know, we're thinking like, oh, it's like, yeah, trying to promote some sort of excitement or trying new things or whatever, whatever they might think it is. But when you're in a, a, a society where one in six American women are either uh, attempted or successfully raped and 3% of men, yes, we have a rape culture. You can't have these sorts of messages out there that perpetuate that. So Hannah, you know, I actually think this is much worse than the two examples you gave. Mm -hmm. Because in the in the Budweiser case, there is a completely understandable other meaning, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Now it, you still shouldn't do it because whoa, the other meaning is is not necessarily a good one. I I, I get that line yeah. of thought, but I don't think Bud intended that at all. So uh, in this case, they know the meaning. Yeah. They and they and so and in the clothing industry, as we talked about, this is something they do on a regular basis to stir up controversy and stir up sales. It's almost part of doing business. So when you intend it, I think it's a thousand times worse. Mm. And then uh, in the yell chant, now that's a terrible chant, but those uh, kids thought that they were being clever mm. and stuff like that. This is business executives sitting in a boardroom thinking, how do I profit off of getting people pissed uh, at me for seeming to condone rape? That's a wow, that's a business decision you made? That's a pretty shitty thing to do. Yeah. And to, to try to profit off of that is pretty gross.